Greetings all, Vanna here for Capricorn's weekly message. Capricorn, if you guys wanted a personal reading or some of my crystal jewelry, you can visit my website right here. The first card that came out for you is the Page of Wands. This man has been popping off all day today and I'm absolutely loving it because it's forward momentum and movement in your dreams becoming more and more of a reality. I mean, we go from the cups, which is the emotions of a dream, the, or in this instance, we'll say the emotions of a dream, the swords, which are the thoughts of the dreams, the wands, which is the building of the dreams, to the pinnacles and the actualization of the dreams. And I love so, so much that we are moving forward and it's like delivering the, the approval. I, I, I literally just had sign, seal, deliver, go back on in my head. And I love that so much because A, one of the best songs that was ever created, and B, it's a constant in, in messages. Wow, this is interesting. Are these all supposed to be, uh, like this spirit? Saying one more. So only one card flipped uh, its orientation when I gathered them again. And I'm actually very glad that I did that because it's reaffirming what we are wanting in our lives right now, Capricorn. So we had a combination of a reverse Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. This is the one that flipped right back, back right side up and the Three of Pentacles in reverse, in combination with the Seven of Swords. Now, there is a lot, a lot going on here, and it very much was taking place in the physical, in the world around you. And this does not mean it has to be limited to the physical space around you. People from miles away can work energy for or against you in any way. And this very much was against you. And, and, and that's why I love so much this page of wands. It's just like, you went through a lot of struggle to get to this point. And there was a lot of work actively trying to delay or prevent this new beginning in your life. And it was people that were very close to us. It was people that we loved that were like, why? Why don't you want this for me? Pettiness. Because they can't have it for themselves. Because either they won't benefit from it, or they won't be able to take and manipulate it the way they want to. Because maybe in the beginning they were for, say, you starting your business, just using myself as an example. But as you went down the line shifting and changing becoming a lot more serious and understanding of what actually goes into running and owning a business they realized how serious you got and how protective of this you are and that they will not be able to take from it what they wanted to when they initially saw you building this it's like I was like, oh yeah, we know she's going to be successful with this, so I'm going to just stick around in her orbit so that I can ask for money, or just just take the money, just take from her. And <clears throat> I know all too well what that energy feels like, to have it come from someone who says they love you, to wear the face of family and be the devil in your life. Just because they are blood family does not mean that they are meant to be in your life. The phrase blood is thicker than water is all the time misuse. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. That is the phrase. The family that you choose and the energy that you carry is more important than the energy in the family that you were born into. The talisman card is coming out to remind you the power in your present place right now. 
in the power of the earth, the things that are going on around her, from the trail and the, the symbols that she stands on there to the ones off the trail and within her. There is always power around you and you do not need these things to feel or embrace that power. You are the conduit that directs the energy that is already occurring around you. And I feel like you have discovered this. I feel like you have found out about your power, found out about your strength, and it is something that is so much stronger than this, this petty energy. You're not at a rock bottom place. Quite the opposite, my dear. Quite the opposite. You are on a launching point, forward momentum in grace. So much beautiful movement. There is still some things you need to listen to. There is still some moments that you need to lean into spirit because while you are going through this metamorphosis, while you are shifting and changing into this next phase of your life, there is more to be released. There is more to learn. And spirit wants you now, Capricorn, to start listening to the quiet moments and where your brain goes because I know exactly what it's like. You don't like the silence because there is all of the noise that goes on inside your head, but that is exactly where you need to be to release what is not going to be moving forward, what tried to pull you back down to this rock bottom point, this energy that may have been placed on by whoever it was that was working against you here, my love. There is the need to quiet that that loud voice that says, go, 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 do, 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 and just listen. Yeah, the divine masculine of some of my Capricorns out there has been very powerful and has made a lot of progress right now. But they also, I want you to seek out your divine feminine and ask where she can guide you with the beautiful gifts and energies that you already carry. There, this isn't something that you need to go out and get more of. You already have the keys, my love. Have a beautiful day, Capricorn.